vlog is back. I am here in Los Angeles, California, but I don't know what story I'm gonna tell today, so I guess I'm gonna just teach you, because that's just what I do, how to vlog in public. Now, a couple of disclaimers. One, I don't vlog often. I am a vlogger because I do make vlogs. However, I do find that some of the things that I do to vlog, especially in public here at the airport, can probably help you as well. So let's just tell you that story and teach you things and just share what I do, because I do a lot of weird crap that may help you. So a couple of starter nuggets. The first one is courage. And what's funny about courage is a lot of you already have it, you just don't know it. And the reason why is you are someone who is making videos on the internet like me. Therefore, you're making something and pretty much putting all your time and effort and some vulnerability to it and you're posting it to the World Wide Web in which people can just watch it and either ridicule or praise it. You already have the courage to do this, so just do it. The other thing is pay attention to your surroundings. So where are you? You don't want to yell when it's quiet. And more importantly, you want to be respectful so, I mean, if you're in an area where you shouldn't be shooting and you get asked not to shoot, don't make a scene, just say okay and go somewhere else. You know, simple as that. So here's how you want to start off. You want to start by just hitting the record button and just waiting until you get the inertia, the, the guts. It's like jumping in a pool when you know it's going to be cold and you're just like, oh, I don't want to get in there, but you know you're going to do it. It's going to feel so good afterwards. That's what you do. So you just wait until you get that courage, that moment, that one second where you're like, okay, yep, I'm totally just going to go down and just jump into the pool. It's the same thing with vlogging. So what you got to do is hit the record button and literally just wait around, wait until you get that moment of courage and then just go. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to vlogging in public, you just gotta do it a lot. So the first thing you need to do is try to isolate yourself somewhere where not many people are. Yes, there is an individual there. However, I'm in a corner. I'm not really seen by too many people. At the end of the day, you're vlogging in public, so you're going to be seen by a lot of people. So just keep that in mind. However, put yourself in the nearest isolation spot possible if you really are, you know, have anxiety about it. It's not a big deal. At the end of the day, you're just talking to a camera. Yeah, that sounds like it's a big deal and it's a little weird. It, it is, but you know, focus on the fact that you love to create. Focus on the fact that you love to put content out there for those on the internet. Someone just took a picture of me, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I have. Or what you can do is find a little nook somewhere where you're just isolated and just put your tripod on the floor and just crouch. Kind of do it like Peter McKinnon's cow. Put, put up, everybody. I can't do that at all. Family? Yes, ma'am. Are you making our hands? Uh, bacon. Bacon. Oh man, it's so good. Oh. So I'm probably like a rare exception. I just dropped bacon on my pants. And I actually love airport food. I don't know why. So good. So the easiest way to vlog is to get into a flow, get into a rhythm. And the, one of the best ways to do that to make you more comfortable is pretending to talk on the phone. Yeah, it's weird, but trust me. Check it out. Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh -huh. No, everything's good. I'm just uh, here at the airport about to go home. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. And as you're essentially still pretending to talk, you're now just flow that into the camera and start talking, talking away. It kind of gives you the vlog flow, number one. And number two, it just makes you more comfortable with your surroundings and what level of volume you can talk in. Right now, there's not being made people talking, so I can't scream or anything like that. But you know, it brings out the fact that if I were to talk to someone on the phone, this is exactly how I would talk. Then you just transition that into, you know, the lens that's right in front of me. So that's how you do that. It's good to put headphones on because people know when you have headphones on, you're not really paying attention to anyone else. And P.S. I'm running out of breath because I've been walking for like 30 minutes. This airport is ginormous. Okay. Anyway, now I have better lighting. What I was saying is with headphones, people already don't pay attention to you because they know you're not paying attention to them. So it kind of gives you like a psyche. And the other thing with headphones is when you put them on, you kind of get a dull experience where you don't hear everything around you. So you therefore kind of feel more isolated to yourself as if you were in your room or wherever you're vlogging, you know, whatever it may be. Oh, and another blogging pro tip. Do your best not to look people in the eye because an eye-to-eye -eye connection means one of two things. One, you're recognizing an individual and then you either might get distracted or two, which happens most of the time, is you then get nervous and you feel as if, oh god, they're looking at me and they're looking at me weird on the camera. Versus just talking right into the camera. I feel comfortable. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to my friends, you know? So that's the trick with that. At least that's how I do it. I can go to LAX and just vlog away because well, I'm only looking at you. I'm not looking at anyone else. I have headphones so I don't really hear people. I don't have music on or anything, but it just doles it out. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people around you think. It matters what your audience thinks, and it matters what you think in regards to what you're creating. So just do that. Just 
do you? So if you watch the vertical film with Jack Conte, you now know that there is a box. Your creative process is in a box and everything that's inside that box makes you you, including vlogging in an airport and looking stupid to everyone else but not thinking about it and ignoring everyone else. So just do that and everything outside the box is all the stuff that you can adjust. But that's it. Just don't change you because you're awesome. Finally, be ready for interaction. Interact with people. A lot of times what happens is people either come up to you asking what you're doing or they even think you're bigger YouTubers and that's just a fun, weird experience. Either way, if you embrace people, A, you're just a good individual in general, so that's good and you're interacting with another human being. The second part is sometimes they're either your story itself or a part of your story. So right now, I don't really have a story. I'm teaching you how to vlog, right? But if I get someone in interaction coming up to me, then boom, that becomes my story. That becomes part of my conflict within my three-act narrative vlog. People are great in the world and the reason why, you know, the world's the way it is right now is because we don't embrace each other as much as we should. So if you embrace someone asking you, hey, what are you doing? It all works out. Is that particular kind of wind screen like this really good for wind or is it just good in general? It actually really is. You know how sometimes you'll like hit the microphone on certain areas? Yeah. That's what it's really good for. Boom, you can change all your audio settings yeah. right in the uh, camera itself. I was kind of curious. I, I yeah. have a 5D and I was going to add to, I was thinking about doing something like that. So when you, you had one of those, I think, okay, what does he, how does yeah. he feel about it? Yeah. You, you need to do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. My awesome. pleasure. Absolutely. I think that's all the tips that I had for you guys today. So if that provided you any type of value, do me a favor, smash that like button. But more importantly, just apply what I did and just start doing like I told that dude. Just do it. That doesn't look good. Let me talk to you later. I have to finish filming the vlog, of course. That was not a fake call, by the way. Whew, finally made it back home. I'm in Austin now. Thank the Lordy. But yeah, hopefully all that made sense to you guys. This is not a video to force you to vlog or say yeah, if you don't vlog, you don't have courage. That's not it at all. It's more so, hey, you know, if you're aspiring to vlog, here are a couple things that I do that allow me to vlog in public, like I'm doing just right now. Anyway, if this video provided you any value, smash that like button for me, please. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Raul, my man, what's up? What's going on, brother man? Oh, what do you do for a living? What I drive a uh, parking spot shuttle in uh, Austin, Texas. That's right. What it's a want? fun job, you yeah. know, and meeting like people like you, brother man. Well, there you go. Yeah, respect. I appreciate that. Yes, man. sir. My man.